for Sound on Sound at AES New York with Graham Boswell from Prism Sound, who's going to tell us about the new Titan interface. Graham, do you want to tell us a bit more? Thanks, yeah. Uh, Titan. Um, Titan follows on from the uh, Orpheus product and uh, incorporates our new ARM uh, processor core with the USB host interface. So this is the first point of difference, uh, is that this is a USB interface instead of a FireWire interface. Um, but there are a number of other uh, embellishments and upgrades in, in uh, the Titan product, um, not least of which is the introduction of what we call an MDIO expansion slot. Um, and that provides an expansion slot on the host side of the, um, uh, of the product. So uh, on the computer side, uh, we can connect, well, for example, a uh, Pro Tools uh, system. We can connect this directly to Pro Tools using HDX, using our HDX expansion card. Um, or that could be, uh, for example, an eight-way uh, AES interface card as an alternative. Um, and both of those then provide alternatives to the uh, USB uh, connection that is um, otherwise used. In addition to that, we've uh, upgraded the mic pre inputs by uh, adding uh, a 20 dB pad, which was a, uh, an occasional request from Orpheus users who found the inputs uh, uh, sometimes a little bit uh, hot. Um, so that pad uh, allows us to deal with uh, deal better with drums and and, uh, uh, and things that are very dynamic, very loud. Um, and there are some improvements in the mixer too, uh, with the ADAT. Um, port now being available on the mixer, um, whereas it was only available as a direct uh, uh, I.O. Um, in the uh, Orpheus uh, product. So I think that's, uh, I, I'm summarizing that and assuming some foreknowledge of Orpheus, but uh, perhaps I should just run through the total number That'd of channels. That would be great, yeah. Um, there are eight analog ins and outs. Um, four of those inputs have um, microphone preamps available with phantom power. And two of those channels can also be instrument inputs, which are located on the front. Um, the ADAT port uh, is, it doubles as an SPDIF or TOSLINK uh, interface, so that can either provide a stereo in-out, um, or it can provide eight channels uh, for ADAT at 48K. Uh, the unit obviously goes up to 192K. Sampling, um, obviously ADAT subject to the usual uh, li channel limitations uh, at 96. Um, and uh, of course there are two headphone outs. They're both the same uh, port uh, on, on the um, workstation. They're both, they're both driven from the same source, but provide two independent volume controls. So if we've got a, an engineer producer and a performer, uh, then they can uh, have uh, different, different headphone levels. Um, in a nutshell, I think that, that pretty much summarizes yeah, it. Yeah, that covers it. So um, when's it going to be shipping and how much is it going to cost? Well, this is uh, priced at 2995 for the base unit in the UK. The um, expansion module will be extra. It'll be uh, uh, in the region of about £800. And in the United States, this will be priced at about $5,000. And the, uh, the expansion card will be around about 1000 bucks. And when will it be available? Uh, the product will be shipping from December. Um, and uh, the, in fact, the, the, the main boards have been in production. Uh, we've actually used them in another project. So uh, we've already built uh, over 100 of these. Um, so we're just waiting for all the bits to come together so we can uh, box them up and ship them in December. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Graham. Thank you.